Hey everyone, my name is Pablo, and this is the first episode of my new channel called Let's Talk Pokemon. Basically, just a discussion of all things Pokemon. I am a big Pokemon fan, as you can see here. I invented a little Magnemite Joy Buzzer. Uh, you know, push the button, it shocks you. You know, beat that Burger King toy with your little spinning top Magnemite. Heck, mine shocks, okay? Deal with it. Mine's better. But we're not going to talk about that. I'll show you how to make one of these in a future video, but for now, let's talk Pokemon X and Y. I'm doing X and Y because right now it's popular, okay? Um, that's what's on Pokemon. It's the flavor of the month. So let's start this. Um, what we know is we know about the three starters, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. The grass type, the fire type, and the water type. Yeah, I know you can't see Froki, but honestly, who cares? I think he's the worst starter ever made. It's just a blue frog. You're not missing out. Come on, we already have four of those. We know about the legendaries, Xerneas and Yveltal, hopefully I pronounced that right, in which their typing is unknown and um, not really sure about their origin of what they're related to. Some people say it's based on some sort of weird um, European mythology. Kind of makes sense. Um, the region is called the Kalos region, in which is people say it's based off specifically France. Some people just say around France, you know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a big region. I hope there's a lot of cool stuff for us to have fun and play around with. So yeah, character customization has been confirmed. For, at the begin, at the beginning, it was just skin color and hair but now it's the whole thing you can customize the entire trainer cannot wait for that cause I cannot wait to actually see myself and not some spiky haired kid play my journey Sylveon's evolution has been confirmed to be a fairy type yeah people it's not light it's not flying not bug not whatever other theories were it's fairy. I can understand how it could be flying since fairies have flying characteristics or bug. I don't really see how it's a light type though. It's in the name. Nymph and Sylph are fairies. We already know about these two Pokemon. Fletchling, the Japanese ramen Pokemon, which people thought was the Pidgey, but I think it's more of the Furo of the game. And we have Panchan, one of my favorite Pokemon. Because come on, pretty cool pose. He's got a leaf on his mouth. Go on. Ever since I wanted, ever since I saw Grovile with a little twig, I've wanted a Pokemon that had that kind of thing. And here we got Panchan with a leaf sticking out of its mouth. Awesome. Here we have this new Mew Two form, or Mew Three, or New Mew as people call it. Supposedly, it's a new form Mew Two, which I was kind of bummed about. But Game Freak are still saying, "Oh, we have no idea what you're talking about." So let's just pretend to be surprised. Yeah, whatever this thing is. And next to it, we have Helioptile, the normal lizard type Pokemon, knowing Parabolic Charge, a basically electric type version of Giga Drain, which sounds very useful. And I hope it's not the only, the only electric type that can learn that, because it would be pretty good if Pikachu or other Pokemon can learn that. Good for strategy. Kind of hope it evolves into something cooler. It kind of looks weird. And last but not least, one of my favorite Pokemon, Go Goat, because one, it's a grass type, one of my favorite types, and two, you can ride it. Yeah, you see your Go Goat in. And in the trailer, it looks pretty slow, but it actually moves pretty fast, I've heard. And not only in this city, but it can roam around the forests. And I heard, and I hear that you can also ride on Ride on or Ride Horn. I always get those names mixed up in which you can use them on rocky areas which I guess it would make sense them using Rhyhorn I think because he was the first Pokemon ever created so you know pay respects to the first Pokemon ever created pay respects here we have Vivalon and Noivern. Uh Vivalon is basically that butterfly one that's basically the butterfree or beauty fly of the game I for some reason I can't find its two pre-evolved forms on the internet so he, 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 here's just like the final form. 
And here we have Noivern, a Pokemon I cannot wait to catch. It just looks so cool. It's believed to be dragon and flying. And this Pokemon looks cool, but I find it kind of funny because people say it's Game Freak's version of letting people know that there is no sound type since it has speakers on its ears and its attack boom burst is normal. So they're kind of shoving this Pokemon and be like, there's no sound type there. You know, kind of funny. Here we have, oh my god, I cannot remember that little um, crayfish's name. Um, but, yeah, it looks cool. It's a pure water type so far. It pretty sure it has a high attack and defense compared to its other stats. And it's kind of like the crab or the core fish in the game. And here we have Talonflame, the evolved form of Fleshling, a fire flying type, which I cannot wait to evolve my Fleshling into when I catch one. Because, come on, it just looks so cool. Here we have uh, three Pokemon who I also forgot their names. The first one to the left is the smallest Pokemon and is a pure fairy type, not grass. Don't let the little flower fool you. It just hangs on to it. Like how Hapini just hangs on to that little rock egg. But yeah, it's supposedly it's four inches tall, I, I think. So records to be the smallest Pokemon. I would laugh if it was able to breed with Whale Lord, because then, forget Skitty and Diglett, a giant whale can breed with a tiny little fairy. That, that, that would be pretty funny. In the middle, we have a Pokemon I've been waiting ever since the first generation. I can't believe I forgot its name, but it's a Lion Cub Fire Normal Pokemon. And I've been wanting a fire lion ever since, you know, have its mane be like fire, like how Kolob's little flame mohawk or Rapidash's like flame hair. You know, it would just look awesome. Maybe it's its final form. If it's a lion, it's Pokemon Century would be that it grows, that its mane grows larger with fire to fear off opponents. Maybe it's one of the greatest predators in the world or something. So, yeah, it knows a move called War Cry, which is basically just a growl. Basically just a growl. Maybe they're renaming Growl. Maybe it's stronger than Growl. Who knows? But I cannot wait to get this Pokemon. And the final one on the right, I don't remember its name. Don't really much care for it either, though, so I can understand. It's a water poison type seahorse that's disguised as kelp. And... Yeah, that's all I know. I know I use a sludge bomb a lot. Two new battles have been introduced for X and Y. One called Horde Battles, which is the one on the left, in which one of your Pokemon battles five same or different Pokemon. You, It's not a trainer thing, it's more of an encounter during the little bushes, kind of like that double battle in the newer games. You know, it's a great way to level up your Pokemon quickly. You know, more EV train, more IV trains. But honestly, when I first saw this, I thought, Why Pokemon gaining up on me? Come on. Why you gaining up on me, Pokemon? Why you gaining up on me? Put five Pokemon at the same time. Against one. And on the right side, they're lower leveled. And on the one to the right is Sky Battle, in which only flying and Pokemon with Levitate can participate in, which means no ground type moves which basically means ground type moves are useless so Gligar and Gliscar are pretty much useless unless you're battling against a flying electric type which would kind of give you an, a little advantage right there but yeah unless that Pokemon knows gravity your ground types are pretty much useless and when I first saw this I thought oh pretty cool you know that it would be good angle shots, stuff like that. But honestly, I'm a little curious of how it would work. Because what about Dodo and Dodrio? They don't really have wings to fly. Supposedly they just jump really high and move their legs really fast to stay in the air. So is that what's going to look like in X and Y? Or can they just not go? And what about Gyarados? He's water flying. Like, I've never seen a Gyarados float in midair. How is that going to work? Is he also not be able to participate? And what about other Pokemon that aren't flying but have wings? 
like Clefairy or Beedrill or Dustox who are bug and poison, you know. Those are bug and poison, they have wings, can they not participate in this? Or you know, that's what I've been wondering. I guess I'll just kinda have to buy the game and find out. Um, other things in Pokemon X and Y is the PSS system, the crap I don't remember what it stands for. But basically it's like the straight spot pass. So they're kinda of combining that technology to the X and Y game. Yeah, I know you can't see this but I move my hands a lot, that's kinda of thing. And basically you'll be able to like contact other trainers nearby. You know, maybe you can battle them, you can have them as friends, the friend list. Those people that have X and Y will be in that list. You can have like 100 people as your personal friends, close friends. Can't wait, because I would like to play X and Y with my friends. Seriously, more battles, more fun. That's going to be awesome. Um, other features include that your rival or friend, I'm not sure which one are they, um, you're gonna have three of them. Can't find a picture either. Don't know why. What's wrong with the internet? Can't find any of these pictures. Um, but basically, one's just a big fat guy. Other one, I cannot tell what gender it is. Has big orange hair. I feel like that's gonna be like the know-it-all character. And some weird girly girl that you can see in the trailer. For some reason, I can't find that either. And yeah, they're gonna be like your friends, rivals. You'll encounter them sometimes, you're probably just going to battle them a lot. And the character that you choose, um, as in male or female, the one that you don't choose, that's also going to be your rival next door or friend next door. Oh, I just realized it's kind of a boy slash girl next door thing, so... Huh, just realized that. Also... Uh, when you first receive the game, you can choose what language you can start out from. So you can start out in English, you can start in Japanese, Italian, Spanish. I really don't really, I don't really find that a problem. But I guess that's okay for people in Mexico or other countries so that you can actually understand it and not learn a different language. You can also choose um, the battle music for, for when you play, so... Yeah, nice. Like, I don't really have a problem with the music. Except for you know, Whom Allows City music, I don't know why, I just can't stand it, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be in the game, so I don't really have a problem with the battle music. I, I guess other people that are so critical about everything, they like it. A new feature they put in on X and Y is the Pokemon Ami. Now, basically, it's like the Nintendogs of Pokemon. You can basically just, like... Pet your little guys and like give them little treats, you know. Like they copy your actions. Well, this guy, you'll, he's a robot, so doesn't really matter. He's kind of cold-hearted. See, see any emotion? No. See, robot. Plus, it's a toy that I made. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. They're trying to bring Pokemon to the real world. Yeah, I actually have a theory about Pokemon and me. But I think I'll save that for a theory episode on X and Y that people have so many of them. You know, try to keep this short, that way I don't bore all of you to death. And... That's my show, you know? That's all I got for Pokemon. Thanks for watching, I... Hope you like it, click like and subscribe. If there's a subscribe button, like, is it... I don't, I don't know where it is, they... I hear they change wherever it goes yeah leave comments at the bottom yeah don't be a huge dick about the comments and you know if you don't like it feel with it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later